Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Create You and those who are new, welcome to Create You, a place where I'm here to help you create your best you, inspire you to create your best art and give you the courage to create and live your best life. And today is a how to draw bodies video, kind of the basics. Um, and what we're gonna hop right into the video today. So get your pens, paper, tablets, whatever you use, and we're gonna get right into it. So what I usually do is I get a picture of a pose that I like, um, from Pinterest and I import it into Procreate as a layer and then I add another layer on top of it so I can sketch over it to get the shape of what the body is going to look like. Um, if you didn't know, but your body is made up of shapes. So circles, cylinders, um, triangles, all those great, great shapes your body is made of those. Um, in drawing, um, you can use those shapes to help produce uh, a man a man or a woman's body and it can help with proportions and things like that also which is really cool but we can get into that a little bit later but um, usually what I do as you can see here and you can go ahead and follow along um, I go ahead and go over the pose and the picture with the shapes of the body to kind of give a muscle memory of when I want to do it on another another picture or another layer without the photo um, and I can change it up and make it my own so that's what I'm doing here so your body is made up of shapes and as, as you can see I am mostly using circles and ovals and cylinders um, right now because a woman's shape is very curvy and very rounded and those are the shapes that are usually in uh, made up of a woman's body. Males, the waist, it might be a little bit more square. Not all men are shaped like that, but that is traditionally how it is. Um, so what I'm doing, and you can follow along, um, what I'm doing is the head is made up of circles. Two, um, I use two to be exact. The chest is one big circle. The hips is another type of circle. But then I'll go ahead and use cylinders for the calf muscle and the thigh muscle. And you'll see at the knee, it is a circle. So it's more of a sphere shape because you know when you bend your knee, your kneecap is more of a rounded shape. And so is the ankle. And your feet are more of a triangular shape. And it's funny because you can literally pick up your foot and see where the triangle would be at the at the ankle and even at the tip, um, the middle of the tip of the foot. It's really cool. And um, I do my best to do this um, as much as I can because it does help me in the long run to know how a body is supposed to be shaped because anatomy is tough. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't always get it right and that's why I do do this every now and again to get a kind of a practice and muscle memory in. I don't usually do this um, directly for a photo. I don't usually trace over um, uh, poses and things like that. Um, this is more for practice, so I advise you to do this definitely for practice. If there's a killer pose that you love to do, definitely do this. Um, and for hands, sometimes I do the same thing at first, and then I do it on a separate piece of paper or a separate, um, a separate layer in Procreate and do my best to replicate what I just traced over. So that's what I usually do. But again, um, bodies are made up of shapes your elbows your knees um your wrists um your ankles they're usually spheres because if you take your wrist you can move it around like if it was on a ball right and your thighs of course if you look down at your thighs right now go ahead and look at it take a look yep it's a, it's a huge cylinder type shape and so is your calves in your arm your lower arm below the elbow and above the elbow so if you can learn how to get those shapes as best as you can and you do practice on your favorite pose go ahead and trace it and try to use those shapes to see how the body is going to be and the picture that I have at the beginning of this video is actually me drawing out a picture that you will see toward the end um, using that technique of using shapes but I'm going to go ahead and show you now me drawing that photo in my personal style but using shapes that I learned from 
going over that reference photo. Um, and that is going to be toward the sides. So now I'm getting into the chest area and you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put that video somewhere around here. But if you want to learn how to draw breasts, uh, that was in my very last video that I uh, posted. So you guys should already know somewhat how to draw the chest area. Um, but what I do is I go ahead and put a line connecting the chest area and the hip area. And again, I'll go ahead and post that video up here too because I have taught you guys how to draw the perfect booty well perfect nobody's perfect but the cutest ju juicy booty ever so I will put that put that video in here somewhere for you to click on if you want to learn how to draw of course the breasts and the booty area so we're not gonna focus on that too much but again those are also shapes and you can go ahead and click on those videos if you want to go ahead and learn that now but um, I go down into the thigh area and the knees and the calves and the feet. And as you notice, um, I've had to shrink it every now and again because I have a tendency to draw bigger sometimes. And I'm working on it. I'm not perfect. I'm working on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had to shrink it down a bit to get the perspective right. So I I'm still a work in progress. Um, but I also do lines and circles for the arms because I need to know how the shoulder gets to the elbow, get elbow gets to the wrist and the wrist of the hand. And just like the thigh area and the calf area, it is made up of a cylinder. So if you look at your arm, you can see where your shoulder is more of a circle because remember you can swivel it around, right? So it's more of a sphere, so you can swivel it around, just like that Dyson, the Dyson vacuum, you know how it's on that cylinder, you can swivel that thing around. Shoulders are the same thing. Wrists are the same way, your ankles are the same way, and your knees are the same way. But if you have your shoulders connected to your arm, to your elbow, there's a cylinder there. And your elbow to your, to your um, wrist, there's a cylinder there. The same for your legs. Your thighs are a big cylinder, your, the sphere for your knee, and then a cylinder for your calf area. Same thing. I know, mind blown. I know. But your feet are more of a triangular type shape. So maybe I'll get into feet, show you how to draw feet. Let me know. It'll be a little challenge for me. But hey, we're here to learn and work together to be the best artist we can be right so and create the best art right right all right so but um hee hee sorry i start to ramble and get excited but anyway um getting back into the video i'm now going into doing the arms so again that cylinder if you look at your arm cylinders and fing your fingers too like look at your fingers put your hand up on your face go ahead put your hand up on your face your fingers are cylinders, right? Pew, 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 pew. But inside the little joint. So I think, I believe I did a hand a hand practice video, which I will pl uh, put in here somewhere if you want to learn how to draw hands. Um, I did do a practice video for you guys. So you can see how to draw hands. And that will be up here also to help you guys out. And I try to help you guys as much as I possibly can. So now I'm just kind of refining things and making things more prominent. So you can see where the reference photo and the practice photo is and my version, well, my drawing of it. And I had to make a few changes. As you can see, I had to shift the leg a little bit because as you can see, her leg is a little bit going, the perspective is her her right leg is a little bit farther behind her left leg so I had to change it a bit but still working on things still perfecting things I'm learning every day and doing this for you guys helps me learn every single day so let me show you how to put this all together to create um, a fan art of a character named Mink from Dragon Half. It was an anime back in the 90s. She was so cute. I totally forgot about her. Um, so you're gonna, it's gonna start going into how I drew her from start to finish using the technique of shapes. So you can follow along 
and see how I do it and you'll see the reference I use also from an artist I really like the description they will be in the description box you can check them out so let's head into that other video of Meek here she is see you in a second Okay guys, so you're gonna see a reference photo of an artist um, that I love, that I follow on Twitter. Um, their name is, let me see, do, 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 do. Cute Sexy Robots. It's, it's hilarious, but their artwork is phenomenal. But um, don't be afraid to use references. If you see a photo of a body pose that you really like, use it. You, of course, create your own your own character or another fan art of it, of using that pose. But don't be afraid to use references because everybody references it, references something to create something else. The, the word says there's nothing new under the sun. So there's nothing wrong with it. And you're going to see me change things up. During the coloring process, I did not like certain things. Certain things bothered me. And I didn't like how it was coming out, so I scrapped the I scrapped what I was doing and started over, and started recoloring and using the base color, the base colors, and I started over. Sometimes you do that, you know. But if it helps you become and fall in love with your own art and your process, and to help your process be better, do not be afraid to do it. And you're about to see exactly what I was talking about because. You'll see me go through this process of coloring and then all of a sudden this goes back to base color. Yeah, because I did not like it. I did not freaking like it. Sorry. I, ugh, if I don't like something, I'll start it all over. Sometimes it's frustrating, but you know, that's life. Life of an artist, I tell you. But yeah, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished up for you and I'll be back with you in a minute. See you in a sec. Okay guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys learned something and let me know what you like to see. Comment down below. Your comments mean so much to me. And let me know if you want me to break it down even further. So do just the head, just the waist. Let me know. I already did the breasts. I did the booty and now I did somewhat of the full body but let me know what you like to see hit that like button if you haven't already subscribe and don't forget hit that notification bell so you will know every single time i post a new video you guys i love you thank you so much have an amazing day and class is dismissed i will see you next time love you peace Oh, guys, and don't forget, my Patreon and media handles are down in the description box below. Bye!